today on Girl Chat, the envelope, please. The Oscar nominations are in. I know, it sounds so good, right? Plus, Jennifer Lawrence's Razzie's nomination has people in their feelings. I honestly feel, you guys, that the internet stays offended. And a new Kardashian Calvin Klein ad adds fuel to the Kylie Jenner pregnancy debate. Then, think your smile could use a boost? We got you. The Smile Doctor is here. The real is live. to the Reels Daytime's Instagram page. Use the hashtag Girl Chat Live to join in on the conversation. Now, before we get started, we want to send our best wishes to legendary singer Neil Diamond. Yes. Diamond revealed on his website yesterday that he has been diagnosed with Parkinson's disease yeah. and will have to retire. Diamond was in the middle of his 50th anniversary tour wow. and has canceled the remaining dates. Neil, we love you and we're thinking about yes. you today. Yes. All right. Yes. Next, early this morning, the 2018 <laughs> Oscar nominations were announced by Anthony Serkis and my girl Tiffany Haddish. <laughs> <laughs> It was a hilarious. <laughs> Andy. <laughs> Andy, Andy, whatever. Um, now, there are so many people we have to shout out. Yes. All right? I Mary know. J. Blige yes. is the best oh, supporting so actress so nomination for her Beautiful. role in Mudbound. Oh. Can y'all believe it? I'm, okay, I, I am so be happy. After everything she's been through in the last yes. year or whatever, like, it's just so awesome to realize that, guys, Mary J. Blige is an Oscar nominated actress. Yeah. Yes. She deserves it. Well like, deserved, man. Yeah, I'm and so she got nominated for, for the song, too. Also, Octavia Spencer <laughs> got nominated for her role in The Shape of Water. Yes. I love her. This she makes was great. her third nomination. She ties along with um, Viola Davis, oh, so wow. that is great. We Cute. love Viola. Viola, you need to come on the show, girl. Yes! yes. I'm telling you. Yes. We would love to have you. Uh, also, our favorite, Denzel Washington, received the best <laughs> acting nomination for the film. Roman J, so happy um, for him. Israel Esquire, and um, this is his eighth. Wow. Yes, this is his yes, eighth one. Veteran. But you veteran. know what? It was a huge morning for Jordan Peele's Come on. Get Out. Come on. Jordan received an original screenplay nomination Love as well it. as Best Directing nomination. This is the fifth black man to get mm. uh, Best Director, so this was this huge for him. Amazing. You know, that film was timely. He was yes. ahead of his time by filming it when we needed it. That film, if you haven't seen it, see it again. Must. Take your friends, take Must. your family, take your older family members. It's necessary. And I just want to say, Get Out, it took Jordan 10 years to make this film. Let me tell you something out there. If you don't believe in whatever your project in life is, I don't care if it's movies, if it's mm -hmm. you trying to open up a daycare, yeah. you keep working at it. Yeah, yep. that's is right. Cool. That yes. it can happen for you, you know. He and didn't give up he on his dream. his gut with it, too. Oh, definitely. Yeah, it just hit definitely. Time. He just, yeah. you know, and now he's being rewarded for it. Yeah. Daniel Kaluuya received a Best Director nomination, Best Actor <laughs> nomination for the film. And he, he and the amazing, film too. overall got Best Picture nomination. So wow. that was great. It's going to be a great show. Yes, I'm I excited. I'm Very diverse in the directing. Yeah. You know. um, yeah, NBA the star non. Kobe Bryant received his first Oscar nomination wow. oh for God, the animated awesome. short Dear Basketball. So cool. And other things to know from this morning's nomination includes the fact that Greta Gerwin got nominated for Best Director for the film <laughs> Lady Bird. Amazing. I want to see that. Finally, a fee, a, she's the fifth female. You know I know these numbers. She's the fifth <laughs> of all yeah. time to be nominated as a female. Her nomination comes after the Golden Globes were publicly criticized for not nominating a female director this year. Also absent from the nominations this morning, 
actor James Franco, mm, who actually ah. won a Golden Globe this month for his role in The Disaster Artist. Now, since the Globes, Franco has been dealing with numerous sexual harassment allegations leveled against him. Also, we want to say that TMZ has just put out, because of the um, nomination for Kobe, mm -hmm. that, okay, what's going to happen with that? Because Kobe had the 2003 sexual assault Rape allegations. Oh, yeah, uh, allegations. Yes. So we'll see what happens. We'll keep, you know, everybody yeah. informed with that. But, ladies, what do you think of the nominations? It's exciting. Okay, I'm not going <laughs> to lie. Oscars, sometimes I get excited to see, like, what they're going to wear, but a lot of times I haven't seen all the films. Yeah. And yeah. I'm only one. Like, sometimes they're films I've never even heard of. Like, that's the Oscars. Yes. Um, but this year, I've seen a lot of them, and I'm really excited because two of them are nominated, which is The Best Show... Uh, the Greatest Showman. Yes. Yes. Have you guys yes. seen it? No, yes. you talk about Please. it all the time. Yes! Oh, my gosh! Okay. I've heard a lot about First it, too. First of all, it's a musical. <laughs> yes. I have the soundtrack. It's amazing. <laughs> yes. I know all the songs, and I'm just so excited that um, it's even nominated for, like, the best um, song in a Film. Yes. Yeah. And I love that at the Oscars they do the performances yes. where all the nominated songs actually they get to perform them. Mm -hmm. And I'm really excited about it. And I'm gonna be in my living room doing the choreography. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and it's gonna be amazing. But I'm so excited. Um, Did you see Lady Bird? No. I good. think Nothing Lady Bird thing. is out of all the movies yeah. for right now. Is that one really moved me? But did you see I Tanya? Is the question. <laughs> I Tanya? No, I have not. I'm obsessed that's with that a, one too. Really? That's a good uh, one. Yeah. Yes, I watched the documentary first. If you're gonna see I Tanya, watch the documentary. It's on Amazon. It's 30 for 30, the ESPN documentary called The Price of Gold. Mm -hmm. And it has yeah. a lot of what they put in the movie I Tanya, and it's so And Margot great. Robbie. I mean, Margot yes. Robbie's an amazing Allison Janey. Yes. She's already won oh, twice, mom, and I think yes. she's going to take the Oscar home. And for the 100th time, Mel Streep has been nominated again. <laughs> <laughs> that's my, that's my girl. Say. I love Meryl She's the girl the post. Yeah, she's the greatest. This is like her 21st nomination, so she can play Harriet Tubman. I'll tell you, I'll be like, that's yes. <laughs> oh yes. My gosh. I believe I'm it, just you know. I'm really, really happy for Mary J. Blige. I know you, right? Mary J. Blige, I know you were talking about her earlier about, you know, her her past year has mm -hmm. been, been challenging. But man, this was her first lead breakout role. And to get nominated for an huge. Oscar, yeah. that is huge, that's Mary. Huge. Yeah, that's huge. I am so, so proud of her. Mary's career in general, where she came from, and just yes. like her struggles. And she's been so transparent yeah. about everything that's gone on. And I think. If that ain't the best revenge, I don't know what is. <laughs> well, there were, yeah. there were, You're out here winning, girl. Yes, there were a couple winning. of shutouts. There were a couple of snubs I wanted to okay. mention. Wonder Woman got shut out, y'all. They didn't nothing. I mean, that was a beautiful movie. It was. Lonnie um, cried I, yeah. at the end of it. She exactly. Did. So I think it should have so got I. something. But, I mean, it, even if it... A lot of people it, struggled with the ending of that movie. Oh, really? Yeah, when I well, talked about... I, yeah, I haven't yeah. seen it yet. Okay, okay, oh, okay, okay. Well, <laughs> you gotta see it. And then also, Steven Spielberg got snubbed. Tom Hanks. Thanks, uh -huh. up. And my boy, Lil Rail in Get Out, I think he should have got a supporting actor yes, nomination. He, he did very well as a TSA agent. Yeah. I thought he, he was, was amazing. Funny. So, he was but, funny. you know, and Tiffany, Tiffany got snubbed. And I was like, I was surprised because they had her announcing this morning. Yeah. So I was like, ooh, they got her up at the crack of dawn. Yeah. She about to get that Oscar nomination. Yes. And that was the first um, announcement. And you could kind of look on her face like, and tell, like, okay, uh, that's <laughs> it. My, where's my name? Um, so, but you know what? You keep doing your thing. Yes, yours is coming, all right? Well, hopefully the Oscars go a little smoother this year. Do you guys remember last year? Yeah. Who can forget the infamous Best Picture fiasco last year when La La Land was accidentally announced as Best Picture Ooh. when in actuality, Moonlight had won? Well, this week, the Academy announced new rules and protocols to make sure that this event go smoothly and that that doesn't happen again. <laughs> no. Some of the new rules being implemented include limited use of cell phones and social media. That'll do which it. Which might cause a distraction. Wow. Yeah, making rehearsal attendance mandatory and ensuring celebrity presenters double check their envelopes with the stage manager before going on stage. So ladies, we do a live show right here. Yep. The Oscars are a live show. We even hosted the NAACP mm -hmm. un uh, not televised. Yep. And something kind of crazy happened with me and Tam. Yeah. Well, well, yeah. well first of all, I'll explain that. What we did was there were 47 categories. Yeah. So what they did yes. for the pretail for NAACP is that they divided us in two. So we rotated. So, yes. Yes. so we it were was their round. Yeah, and we were reading off, you know, the nominees, the, the nominees for right. a particular category. And you handed me the envelope. I opened up the envelope, and it was a completely different name, a name that we didn't it even was a mention. Different category. 
category. In a different category, and we were like, well, we know who won that award, I guess. But so I, it was like me saying, and the nominees are Adrian, Lonnie, Lonnie Jeannie, Jeannie, and, and, the, Ta winner and is... the winner is Taj Mori. <laughs> we were like, what oh, no. the heck? In a different category. It literally was like, okay, let's say it was Best Actress, and we mm -hmm. read off all the actresses, and then it was like, Best Literary, the best writer, and it was just, but we so, played it off pretty well. We sure did. We did. We what you like, guys did laughing? What you did for those that didn't see it because it wasn't televised. What'd you guys do? Well, yeah. you know, I just made a joke out of it. And I, I was like, Well, yeah, we know who won this category. Yeah. That's why it's and she so important up. to she have. You had to have, yeah. yeah, you had to have focus, and you have to have organization. Because yes. once that happened, you know what I did? I started getting involved. I was like, okay, yes. wait a minute, we got to get this <laughs> right because I don't want it to be like the ladies of the real messed up. Right, so right. Yes. I got it together. Lonnie for started it. producing and directing. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's not. It's, it's never a good idea when those mess ups happen, but I do like seeing it. I don't really? know, it just puts you in the moment, right? Everybody watched it. Everybody went to YouTube and checked it out the next day. Like, when you heard about it, you you, you just can't believe something like that would happen the to the The only Oscars. thing is I wish that um, Barry Jenkins, the director yes. of the movie Moonlight, I wish he would have been able to have his time. Yeah. And that's yeah. the only thing. It's okay to make the mistakes and everything, but then his On time was gone because they were like, nah, 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 it's over. How? So people worked yeah. so yeah. hard to get to these points. Yeah. And, you know, you want to be able to give them their time to be yes. able to do their thank yous and stuff. So that's true. hopefully they'll do it right yeah. this time. That's so, right. You know. So speaking of award shows, the 38th annual Razzie noms were announced yesterday. Now the Razzies, short for Golden Raspberry Awards, are meant <laughs> to honor the worst films and performances of the year. Leading the pack this year is the film Transformers, The Last Night That's with- so wrong. Right? I okay. know. The Last Night with nine nominations. Anybody watch these movies? I watched the first one. Okay. Here's another one that was on the Razzies list, Fifty Shades Darker with eight. <laughs> Okay, many people are extremely conflicted over one specific nominee, Jennifer Lawrence. Yes. The Oscar winner was nominated for Worst Actress for her role in this year's psychological thriller, Mother. While many people are so upset because they felt her performance in that film was actually amazing, others are questioning the need at all for a ceremony that seems to promote negativity. So ladies, yeah. Okay, what do you think of this ceremony? Is it in good fun or is it secretly mean-spirited? What do you think? I don't know. I mean, I don't know why they have it. Like, what's the benefit of telling people that yes. they sucked as an actor or an actress in this particular right, film? Right. Um, but then you see people like Halle Berry and Sandra Bullock actually come on the show and, you know, maybe yes. accept award or, or present. So maybe it's their way of making fun of the situation. You know, they I, maybe I yeah. take it as Clearly a joke. because she rolled up with her Oscar when she was right? receiving it. Yes. I personally, I know what you're saying. Like, yeah. why are we highlighting things that didn't work out? But I think... I I want to keep it real. We watch films that we didn't like and that we thought were horrible, and we watch films that we love. I think that there's this sense of humor in the way you accept, which is if you ever get a chance, YouTube yes. Sandra Bullock's um, response and Halle Berry's. <laughs> it's fun because we have good episodes and some we have, oh, okay, that was, you know, it, it's just owning it. I like that. No? Yeah, I think the Razzies were made not to really be taken seriously. Yes. I mean, one of the worst, in the worst actress category this year is Tyler Perry, okay, for <laughs> Medea Boot. Too. It's like, come on, really? It's like, but you know what? It don't matter because Tyler Perry made $100 million this year. Yes. So you don't can razz me off. Exactly. Don't take it so seriously. <laughs> yeah, but it, feel, it feels low key just like. It's low key petty. Like, like, yeah. Like, like, what are you doing? Like, you have nothing better to do? Yeah, but I think if you, I think that if you are nominated, if you take it with a grain of yes. salt, you know. Yes, take it with a grain of salt if you're nominated. I'm talking for the people that created it and actually are putting their time and effort into putting a full-on award show to tell you yeah. you suck. Yeah. Like, you suck. I'm yeah. sorry. Like, that's corny. That's funny. Like, that's so lame. I agree. And but I Tom love Cruise Jennifer Lawrence. Tom Cruise has been nominated this year. Mark Wahlberg, Johnny Depp. It's, a, it's just... It's, like, you, like, it's they diverse, really I'll tell you that much. Yeah, the but, movie's not good. Yeah, but when Keanu Reeves got roasted for almost the rest of his career for his role in Speed, uh -huh. I liked that movie. I loved that I loved movie. It. But when everybody mocked how he was acting, you can't deny that that's kind of how he was acting. Like, it's not bad or good, it just... I just have fun but with it. But that's Keanu. Yeah. Keanu actually was known as one of the top highest male actors, and if you notice, in every single film, he, he acts, acts the, the same. same. So, 
I, I, right, so then you just own that how you are, right? Okay, yeah, I guess. Yeah, so you enjoy it and you be at home, watch Speed, don't watch Speed, and keep it pushing. Yeah. yeah. You know, like, you can either watch it or don't watch it. Right. Yeah, well, we'll, well see what happens with the Razzies. I'll report on it, okay? <laughs> it's the night before the, uh, the actual Oscars. Oscars, yeah. yeah. So it'll be fun to see yes. what happens. All right, well, from awards to ads, back in September, it was rumored that Kylie was expecting her first child with boyfriend and rapper Travis Scott. However, since then, neither Kylie or Travis or any member of Kylie's family has confirmed or denied the pregnancy, leaving many people very confused. And this week, the rumor mill started up again after new Calvin Klein ads came out featuring Kylie and all of her sisters. The Our Family ads feature Kylie hiding behind a blanket, another where she's hiding behind her sister, and another where she's wearing an oversized denim shirt. <laughs> so ladies, do you think Kylie knows exactly what, what she's doing? Or is this just the worst kept secret in the world? She don't have to hide no more. Chicago West is here now, you know? What? <laughs> like, what do you mean? <laughs> oh my God, here we go with the conspiracy theory. That right. went right Explain over my head. It. No. <laughs> You thought she there was the surrogate. There is a conspiracy that thinks yeah. that Kylie was the actual surrogate for Kim and Kanye. You think um, that? That might be because why is she hiding? We haven't seen her yet, have we? I think she knows huh? exactly what Me she's doing, too. and I just think she doesn't want to be seen pregnant. I think, I'm, and, and I I'm think that, that. that she okay, has the right to do case, that. Okay, that's the case. Everybody's been pregnant. What's the big deal? Well, no. there is a big Let's deal. Out. She. It has been I think she has a different demographic. I think she has a different audience. And I also think that after seeing what Kim went through when she was pregnant and how people ridiculed her and they took pictures of her feet swollen, like, you can never get rid See, of those pictures. You can off take those pictures, though. Yeah, but you can never, you can never unsee that. You know what right. I'm saying? No, I'm not trying to be funny, but, like, you can't take that off the Internet. And I think if she can have a private and she has the... Uh, what is the word I'm saying? The luxury to be yeah. in her home with a chef, with a yoga instructor have her friends so come over it. and hang out, mm -hmm. yeah. so be it. She has the privacy that she wants and she gets well, to have Well, then why do, do, do the, do the uh, things that she's doing now with the blankets and all that kind well, of stuff? Well, I have to ask you got an opportunity to be in a Calvin Klein campaign. Yeah, you you're going to accept it. Any I, I, I wouldn't do, do it like that. I would just, I would just show my pregnancy. But no, 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 she's saying with the point of her trying to hide it, of yes. course she would pose like that. Sorry, Tam. No, 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 But that makes sense that she would pose that way if she's trying to keep it to herself. I just, I'm tripping out that this many people care whether or not Kylie is pregnant? Yes. Are we serious, guys? Do you really care? Yes. Okay, okay, you so you care, say that, but, but say you guys that. are the ones that will be clicking <laughs> exactly. if you find out if she is or not, right? I'm just asking this in no disrespectful way. If a woman doesn't want to tell you your, her Respect news, that. why are we up in her biz now yes. about it? And actually, uh, I saw a video, you guys, where I think she was with her best friend, and she was saying, I think she has a very gentle, delicate soul when it comes to fame and paparazzi. Mm -hmm. She said she doesn't do that well. All of her other sisters do. She likes a little bit more privacy. Mm -hmm. So okay. maybe if she is or if she isn't, she just wants to protect that. That's fine, but then... And you gotta respect that. Saying, Leave you, her alone. When you start something, but, okay, you okay. guys say, Leave it alone, all this other kind of stuff. You can't... Okay, we're at time. I, we, we, I can't... I'll tell y'all on Instagram. Yeah, we're gonna keep talking. <laughs> There's no better feeling in the world than finishing a great mm -hmm. workout, right? Yes. But after you get your sweat on, do you like to get your eat on, too? Beyonce was spotted out yesterday in West Hollywood following a spin class soul cycle session, rocking makeup and carrying cupcakes. The chocolate cupcakes with vanilla icing were carried in a Tupperware container and looked homemade, although we're not sure who the cupcakes were actually for. <laughs> Beyonce is reportedly known for abiding by the 5-2 fasting diet in which one consumes 600 calories two days a week and then eats normally for the rest. Mm. So ladies, do you have any post-workout guilty pleasures? <laughs> okay, Dude. am I the... I don't really like working out. I know it's not a shocker, people. Yeah. But I, I'm not a fan of working out. So if I just put in a really good workout, I need it to last. Like, I need to see these results. So I'm not yes, going to go eating true. because I'm like, I just killed myself in there. Why am I going to go eat bad food now? But that, if it was in Tupperware, it might be some special cupcakes. Mm. So it might be something that's really healthy that's, you know, for a post-workout. Yeah, maybe so like a protein probably, cupcake? Yeah. 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 Knowing her, that's probably what it is. Yes. You know, and put a little icing on top. I think the food is Vegan absolutely... Vegan icing, right? Mm -hmm. That food exists. 
food is absolutely connected to like emotional eating of some sort. So like normally when I, so I do sprints when I can wake up and like get the energy too early right. in the morning. But lately, well, as of yesterday, I've decided <laughs> to detox from swearing. And I've, yes. I, look how excited what? she is. And I'm so disappointed. <laughs> I know, and I and I really need it. I am detoxing, and I mean it. I'm holding myself accountable. Thank you, I guys. Like that. Because I just think, no shade to those who, but I think that if you really wanted to, you could be intelligent and creative about the same words that exhaust the same type of, you know. It's just but, not as funny sometimes. Anyway, so with each of my, <laughs> each my words, I have to do 10 push-ups. Yo, yesterday I did 120 push-ups. <gasps> See, she's so, out of control in these streets, people. So today I woke up starving. I had pizza in the morning. I oh, also had coconut that's why you had that sandwich. And I, girl, you don't have to put my Oh, I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> like a hero. I know. Like, what is happening? I'm starving, here? so get ready, guys, because it's going to be the best shape of my life and the cleanest mouth you've ever met. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Yes. I'm here for I'm it. I'm, I'm just going to say, like, have you ever done, like, a really good workout, and then you're like, okay, for breakfast, I'm going to have a green juice. Then for lunch, I'm going to have a salad. And for dinner, I'm going to have a piece of fish and some vegetables. No. Uh, and then 12 midnight hits, and you have 12 Oreos and an entire yes. pint of ice cream. Yes. That is the story of my life. Yes. Nobody ever, you eat clean all day long and then midnight hits and you can't control yourself and you're rummaging through everything in your That's kitchen. That's why you gotta get all that stuff out yes. of your pantry. Yeah. You can't have nothing. So, I like and it. you can't smell it. You I can know, make once that you promise smell yourself. It. But as soon as you smell it, that's when you want what it. What does the fans say about this? <laughs> All right. We asked you what your post out, what your post workout guilty pleasure snack is, and at Caitlin Snyder 13 said chips and salsa. That's oh, yeah. what I had last night that's after a good Zumba. One. Mm, that's a good well, one. Uh, I like a lot of carbs though, right? Yeah. Car I mean, it's not good for you, especially the double fried ones at like real authentic Mexican restaurants. But you can have yeah, the salsa cool. and maybe have oh, um, my God. celery. Yeah. At Nature Anguiana, yo, <laughs> don't know what I just said. Said. Water, because I'm dying. I feel you. I'm dying too. Water is good. Yes, yes. water is good. At Tiny Hippie 55 said whiskey. Yes! Whiskey! <laughs> like it. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you know what? A protein yes. shake, you guys, a protein shake is the best thing that you can have after a workout. Yeah, it Just put you some up. fruit in there. Peanut maybe butter. top it off with some granola, peanut butter, almond butter, mm. and then you'll feel full. Yes. Yeah. You should That's try good. it. That's a good treat. I'm well, thank you. Let's get back to some more girl talk. New Jersey, my name's Cassandra. Hi, Cassandra. Cassandra. What's up, New Jersey? I love your skin and your lip gloss. You're yes. so glowy. Thank you. I had to get ready in 10 minutes. So. Oh, yes. Yes. Did a great job. <laughs> great job. All right, what do you do out there, Cassandra? Um, I'm actually getting ready to go to school. I have class at two. Okay. Um, but I just work, I'm a tutor, um, and yeah. School's really my thing right now. I'm nice. a full-time student. Awesome. awesome. What are you wow. studying in school? Um, I'm going to be an early childhood elementary teacher. Yes. With yes. A Spanish major. That's, that's, that's amazing. awesome. <laughs> that's amazing. Well, we're going to see if we can make your week even better and give you a little money. Mm -hmm. We have a game for you. If you think you can handle it, you get a chance to win $100. What do you think? Sure. All right. Uh -huh. Hell, she's so She's calm. ready. I know. All right, so Lonnie has a whiteboard and a pen. Okay? Don't be nervous, girl. No, you, got you look mad chill. You do yes, yes. So we're going to ask you a question, all right? Lonnie's going to write down her answer, and after she's done that, we're going to ask you to say it out loud. If you two match, then you win, okay? You're kind of mind-melding right now. Got it. Got it? I think okay. like Lonnie. All right, ready? Here's your question. Our girl, our girl Tam Tam was at the Golden Globes when she got starstruck. Who did she fangirl over meeting? Um, don't answer Mariah yet. Don't answer. Don't answer. Don't oh. answer. Hold on. Okay, Lonnie's done. I was done. Okay. I was done. Ready? One, yes. two, three. Mariah Carey. Yes! yes! <laughs> now, when it comes to mourning, we all have different ways of grieving. Mm -hmm. So when a Taco Bell in Montgomery, Alabama burned down in the middle of the night, the town knew just what to do. The citizens decided to hold a mock vigil to honor <laughs> their beloved fast food joint and celebrate how it lived moss. Oh. oh. Guys, yes, you are seeing the real thing right here. Yes, this Over is Over 100 happening. people showed up 
with candles and stories about what that Taco Bell meant to them. <laughs> with Why are you guys laughing? It felt like they lost a member of their family. That is crazy. So ladies, is there any place that you love as much as these people love Taco Bell that you would hold a vigil for? Man, I don't know about Taco Bell, but Waffle House is one of them. <laughs> That's true. That's a good one. Tell you, the Waffle House, you uh, know, at 2 a.m. after mm -hmm. you, them, you feeling good and you come back yes. from the club. Yep, yes. there's one you in Atlanta. In there, oh my, on every corner in every Atlanta. Every corner, yeah. So right? Midwest? The cheese eggs, the bacon, the, the uh, what is it? Uh, Cheesy grits. Cheesy, yeah, that. Oh my, oh my. When you see oh that yellow oh. square above the freeway, you know to make an exit. I would hold sure. two visuals, okay? That's what I do, do visuals. How do you pronounce Visual. this word? Because I think I said it wrong. Too. Vigils. 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 Two vigils. Vigils. Two vigils. Two vigils. In Spanish, it's Dos. called a vigilia. I knew it in Spanish. I didn't know it in English. That's you a know? vigil. It's a vigilia. And okay. I, like the, the, I like the type of uh, Waffle House where the cook and the waitress are always fighting. You know what I'm saying? While you're waiting on your oh, phone. Especially you at know? 1 o'clock in the morning, and you her name your phone is out. Earlene, and his name is usually Brent. Brent. You know, Earlene yeah. and Brent. Yeah, Brent, you get that down on, 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 while we're right with me. <laughs> You don't oh, understand. But they understand. But they understand. I still That's don't understand point. why were you guys laughing about Taco Bell closing down? If that was the only Taco Bell in your hood, well, I would cry yeah. too. Have you had the Mexican pizza from Taco Bell? It's the best thing you can get any of Yes, restaurant. I would more the cheesy gordita crunch, okay? That's a good one, That too. is serious right there. Okay, I, I know that if Cold Stone for me. <gasps> if Cold yes. Stone? Oh, the, the ice cream. Oh. Dude, I, I am such a G at Cold Stone. I know the exact combination that y'all never put up on the board. You know how they have like the top nine combinations? My combo is the chocolate covered waffle bowl. Yes. Coffee ice cream, not mocha almond fudge, coffee because it's more stronger in flavor. Peanut butter ice cream. Hot peanut butter on top. Don't look at me like that, I swear. It's from Jesus. Hot peanut butter. And then, not the sliced almonds, but the chopped onion. Chopped, chopped onion. Don't <laughs> <laughs> say chopped onion. Chopped onion. onion. Oh, oh, ice onion. Cream. oh my God, Cold Stone is my life. I love that place. I think I'm gonna have to try Taco Bell again. Yeah, I don't girl. Know. Cheesy Gordita Crunch. It's no, popping. No, and now okay. they have the adobo fries. Mexican okay, pizza, wait, 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 Mexican wait. pizza all day. Mexican you know about pizza. the adobo so Mexican fries? Mexican pizza, yes. the adobo fries. Cheesy you Gordita Crunch. You cook with that adobo, man. Okay, so now they just it's introduced no you guys oh, yeah. fries and you actually dip them in like an adobo thing. Yes. No, okay. If y'all burn down a Popeyes, oh, it's Oh, I agree. I agree. No, no, no. I got this even more. If you burn down a Popeyes on a Tuesday, watch oh, out. They Tell them special. why on a Tuesday. Because there's a special on Tuesdays. You get two for one special. Oh, my goodness. Two drumsticks for one price. Two yes. wings for one price. <laughs> Mama uh, buys at Popeyes it. every Tuesday. Guys, yeah. I would cry. I would shed a full-on tear, a couple of tears, if they closed down. What? Red Lobster. Oh. Really? Oh. Crab really? fest, lobster fest. I could sit and eat crab legs all day and, and the cheesy <laughs> biscuits. Yes. Oh, Jesus. Really? Them cheesy biscuits, that oh, do it for are. me, okay? Yeah. So good. Yeah, there are a lot of places I would just lose it. What is We it? gotta take Tamara to I know, spots, right? I know. It's been a minute Tim since you don't eat fast there. food. I no. don't, I don't, not anymore. But back in the day, it was all about Burger King, y'all, that the Whopper. Whopper. The Whopper. Really? Yes, that you guys didn't like Whopper? I just the like that they had on onion the rings. Yeah, the, the, Onion rings from Burger King are, are another life. Yes. yes. They are right. I'm just telling you, if you're ever hard on some money, I've been there before. Jack in the box, two tacos for 99 cents? Yes. You can feed a whole yes. family for $4. Or, no. or the late night yeah. menu. Amazing. The late night menu at Jack in the box. You know who I'm talking about, those people who I go for the lunches. I seriously got to get back on fast Girl, food. Y'all yeah. making Church's me want. Church's chicken, you could get 3,000 pieces of chicken for $2. Oh, oh my God. God. Sometimes a smile can be the very thing to brighten someone's day. That's why those pearly whites should always be on point. And we've got the products you need to help you achieve that. Welcome to The Smile Doctor. <laughs> Mrs. Maury Housley, Hi. so good to see you. How's Hi. everything been going with your teeth? Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Any problems with sensitivity? Uh, you've been flossing regularly? Dr. Love, everything is all good over here, and I've been flossing just like you told me. Once oh. a day, like clockwork. Okay, good mm -hmm. to hear. But before we go inside your mouth, what's going on with your lipstick, you know? I mean, your lips, they're bleeding all over. And since we're about to uh, have, we're about prevention in my office, uh -huh. I recommend that you use Makeup Forever's Lip Line Perfector Pencil. <laughs> I just happen to have one in my pocket. Oh, All right. okay. This colorless pencil prevents your lipstick bleeding and feathering over the lip line. It holds your lipstick in place so it lasts longer and even fills in fine lines. Plus, you don't have to worry about having dry or cakey lips because its creamy texture seals in moisture to hydrate those lips. And you can pick this baby up for $20. Okay. But the first one is on me. Well, thank you, Dr. Love. I appreciate the help, but um, can we get to my teeth, though? I, I really need to pick up my kids from school. Oh, no problem. I'll be okay. right back. I gotta go pick up some tools. Great. All right. Okay. Right thank back. you, thank you. Hey, you Dr. Dr. Love. Yes, I am. Hey, Dr. Love. It's good to see you. Hi. Hi. Ooh. Excuse me, but um, I couldn't help but notice your teeth look a little, ooh, stained and dull. Uh, really? Yes, really. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be rude, girl, but um, I just have tunnel vision when it comes to teeth. And, well, I've got something that you actually can use in between dentist visits to help okay. those stains. For starters, no need to worry about embarrassing red teeth after you drink wine. Don't you hate it when that happens? Uh, yeah. All you have to do is just keep these wine wipes in your bag and say bye-bye to funky stained teeth at only $9.95 for a pack of 20. There's a pack of 20 in here. Okay. Mm -hmm. And here's something for the dull look of your teeth as well. See this right here? This is Tarte's Pearly Girl Vegan Teeth Whitening Pen, and this will give you whiter teeth while protecting your teeth without the harmful chemicals. Teeth, teeth, teeth. So, no need to rinse after applying. It's up to you if you want to get it, but you know what I'm saying? It's just $22. Oh, oh but, well, thank you. This is, this yeah. is great. This is, and these wipes. Great information, don't, don't but... Don't forget the wipes, oh, okay. You need Okay, these. thank you, thank you. But uh, can you please uh, tell Dr. Love to come back? I mean, I just want to get my teeth clean so I can go. Sure, no problem. I'm gonna send her right in. But, okay. you know, just keep those for yourself. All right, thank you. <laughs> I mean, what kind of establishment are they running here? Where is my doctor? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I thought that this room was gonna be empty. H have you been helped yet? Not really. I'm waiting on Dr. Love to come back. Where is she? Oh, well... I know you uh, have been waiting, but girl, how long have you been waiting? Because your lips are dry. <laughs> oh my God, you need some TLC. Well, lucky for you, here at the uh, Smile Doctor office, we love making sure that every part of your smile is on point, so here's a tip. Lipstick never looked good on chapped lips. You got lipstick on top of really chapped lips right now. So how about Clarins Instant Lip Light Comfort Oil with all the soft, Gloss without stickiness. Okay. Yeah. Okay, check it out. Hold this, let me tell you all about it. The mixture of plant oils nourishes the lips and this bad boy comes in many different tints like honey, raspberry, this lovely tangerine and more. And this bottle will only run you $26. Smell it. Smell it. Really? Yeah. Isn't that good? Smells good. Totally, yeah. You don't, yeah. You mm -hmm. don't look interested in what I'm showing you right now. <sighs> Okay, look, I'm just gonna go out and, 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 and see your doctor. I'll, I'll get her in you here know, for you, okay? Actually, I, I'm so sorry. I, I, I have had, I have just, I have had enough. I've gotta get out of here, oh, seriously. Oh, hey. You know what, oh, but you know what? I, I'm gonna take this, though. Thank no. you. Thank you. Do you ever look up movie reviews online before seeing a film to decide whether or not it's worth seeing? Mm -hmm. And do you ever get lost down the rabbit hole of reviews because people are so bizarre <laughs> or extra critique? in their reviews. I know we all do it. And today we're flipping the script to bring you a brand new game where a few lucky contestants will have to guess a movie based on an actual movie goer's review to win some quick cash, honey. <laughs> Let's play Unique Critique. Adrian, tell our lovely audience how we play. Thank you, Jeannie. Okay, it's pretty simple, you guys. We'll read you a real movie critique that we found on the popular review site, Rotten Tomatoes. Then we'll list a few options for what the actual movie could be. Now, if you can match the critique with the correct movie, you'll be walking out, what, $100 richer. <laughs> so who's ready? 
ready to give this game two thumbs up. Who's ready? Who wants to play? First up, we have from Los Angeles, Gracie McGriff. Where are you? Nice to meet you. Okay, are you a movie buff? Yeah, heck yeah. Like Netflix is my jam. If not, I'm at the theater like every weekend. I so, love it. Okay, yeah. so let's do this. Samara, give us okay. the first review, please. All right, our first reviewer gave this movie two stars and wrote, whoever likes to play instruments or be in band, then see this movie. How they play the drums? It was a bit interesting hearing them play the drums in the movie. I only saw part of this movie. What? <laughs> so, Gracie, do you think this movie critique is for A, drumline, B, whiplash, or C, little drummer boy? Audience, help her out. What do you think it is? Yeah. Gracie, what do you think? Go for it. What do you think? Girl. Uh, I'm going to say B. Whiplash. I don't even Let's know see if you're right. I don't know. I don't even know what that movie was. It's oh, 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 All right. It's okay, you don't get the hundred dollars, oh, but you get a priceless. Okay. The real T-shirt. All right. Next up to take the play, we have from Oxford, California, Raina Menendez. Come play. Hi, What's up? Okay, hi, Raina. Would you say that you're a harsh critic or easily pleased when it comes to movies? I like to give credit where it's due, but I do appreciate effort. So I hear that. I would okay. say neutral. All right. Well, okay. Katie, what's up next for the critique? All right. Our next reviewer gave this movie five stars and wrote, one of the bestest movies of the kinda lately, <laughs> the peeing scene is the greatest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, Reyna, do you think this movie critique is for A, The Hangover, B, Road Trip, or C, Girls Trip? <laughs> okay, audience, what do you think? I already got this. You know the answer? She's like, oh, I got this. Mm -hmm. What is it? Girls Trip. hysterical in that peeing scene. So funny. Yes, Tiffany was amazing. You just got $100, yay. Okay, we've got time for one more. From Corona, California, we have Dejanae Edwards. Come play. Come on, girl. All right, what's your favorite movie of all time? Save the Last Dance. Oh, that is a good movie. Oh, well, good. good luck. Lonnie, give us the unique critique. Okay, our final reviewer gave this movie four stars and wrote, Jenny, you're a heartless bitch. Oh. So, there's Jeanette. <laughs> do you think this movie critique is for A, Made in Manhattan, B, Horrible Bosses, or C, Forrest Gump? Audience? All right, you hear what the audience is saying. What do you think? C, Forrest Gump. 